You know, it's just not true that we're at a point of no return. Or is it? Climate change poses profound scientific challenges. We are the Max Planck Institute for Meteorology, and we embrace these challenges as we work to understand Earth's possible future. Our task needs the most creative and determined minds united around a deeply human purpose. It needs you. Join us. What I do is um, to look at how extreme heat occurs and develops, especially in Europe. I always loved wind for all of my life uh, because it brings something very refreshing and uh, wind is always changed. First of all, for humans, the oceans are sometimes far away. So we, it's much easier for us to imagine what happens on land because while we see trees, we know that, sort of that, that they're flowering in, in, uh, or uh, they're blooming, they're blossoming. So we see them changing, but we don't really see much about the ocean. For me, you know, as a mathematician, I live in this idealized world where people give me <laughs> a completely perfect set of data that completely fits uh, my assumptions. You know, everything is a Gaussian curve, everything is normally distributed, everything is the way you like it. All the assumptions are great. But in real world, you have uh, measurement errors, you have days on which there is there are clouds and you don't see sun and you cannot observe anything. The sole focus of the Max Planck Institute for Metrology is the research. And as a researcher, that's uh, what I am, this is pretty much the best you can imagine. The Institute was, has always been a, a leader in developing a, a comprehensive understanding of how um, the climate system behaves. So it was really one of the first institutes that I became aware of um, as a young student. When I came here, I really wanted to address topics that were relevant for society. And extreme heat is actually one of the most devastating threats of climate change. Climate change is real and this is just more important because it affects everybody of us. And I wanted to model something which I can see, and I wanted to model something where I had the feeling that this contributes to a bigger picture. On the scale of all these possible things that I could do, I was also looking for a place where I feel like the research that I'm doing is a contribution to something bigger. I really wanted to, to, uh, to make an impact. So one reason why I applied here for the Max Planck Institute is because of the International Max Planck Research School, so the IMPRS. So as a PhD student, you are pretty lucky because you have a lot of uh, administrative people who live you, who help you not only with your work but also with your uh, arriving here in, in, in Hamburg. I think that's that's been very nice here. So as a part of the um, IMPRS school you are surrounded by other people that are going through the same process you're going, but are also either coming from different points or at different career stages. And also your supervisor or the postdocs that um, are close to you. And it's so um, easy to start working here. It's so easy to get into a very productive state because also that is often a problem, especially for doctoral students, that they feel like they're left alone and here, this feeling is completely gone because there is always somebody you can talk to and you should. This is how everything here is planned. This is the structure of this interdisciplinarity that pushes you. So you're not you're not alone, you're not in your you know in your dark isolated lab where you sort of do your own thing, but you're always sort of part of a bigger group. It's a chance to develop intellectually, to develop your ideas and your ambition in ways that you can do in few other places. So whether it be access to the measurements or access to the computers and the modeling, or just to be part of a great adventure which is exploring the, the most advanced possible tools to understand how the climate will change. In our model, we have a fully coupled global Earth system model. And what that means is that we have different components on the climate that all interact with each other. So this machine at the uh, German Climate Computing Center only makes it possible that the latest model technology sort of resolves these fine scales and that we can now bring together the observations that we take from sailboats and uh, the modeling activities we do in the house. And the fact that it works, the fact that it is made possible for me is, is a wonder. I mean, very few institutes in the world offer both the opportunity to sort of work with observations and combine it with modeling work. So I've got the expertise in both here and this is really unique. Networking is something 
a scientist always has to have in mind. Talking with international people, other working groups all over the globe, it really enriches your um, science. And the institute already is very international, so um, we have uh, people from really all over the globe here doing PhD or, or postdoc. So if Hamburg is your first experience in living abroad, I think it's super welcoming and also very, very multicultural. So I've never felt out of place here and I always felt that there were a lot of people just in my position as well, like trying to, you know, explore a new country and a new city and everyone is just trying to make friends. Especially as a postdoc, for as a, somebody who already has some basic um, education and some basic understanding of, uh, of their possibilities, to see where you can apply those possibilities and which roads are open for you, uh, MPI is, is really a wonderful opportunity to test all the waters, <laughs> maybe quite literally. <laughs> it's a crazy place that, that we can come here and spend our day thinking about whirls in the wind and, and patterns in the clouds and how rain falls. What, what could be a, a cooler way to spend your life? I mean, thinking about nature, how it works, how things interact together, living a creative life where your ideas matter. Um, so I, I like to think this, this creative expression that you get to realize in science is what makes working in a place like this so special.